Let's talk about that huge TF2 leak. For the uninformed, um, if you've been living under a rock or something, there was a huge TF2 leak a few weeks back. 61 gigabytes of content that never saw the light of day was released to the public. This includes unused maps, modes, models, mechs and witches. It was bittersweet to see as it showed all the stuff that Valve had worked on for TF2 and just showed there was much more content they could have given to the game, but never saw full release. And one can only think what would have been. If Valve had developed and polished many of these assets, it could have been a really different game. It was really fun to see the early days of TF2 and see how many ideas developed into the game we know and love today. As many as 20 maps have been created but never released. 20. To be fair, a lot of these are tweaked versions of maps we actually did receive, and I'm going to touch on some of my favourites here. Firstly, Dust Bowl 2. Now no, this is not a sequel to the Dust Bowl we know and love. This is a sequel to the original Dust Bowl, as seen in Team Fortress Classic. It was a remake of that original Dust Bowl map, and as you can see, it is very similar to Gold Rush, which is currently present in the current game. It was originally intended for the Team Fortress Classic control point mode, but got transformed into a payload map that we all know and love. You can kind of see the similarities when looking at the map now, but it was still quite early in development before it got flipped over to uh, Gold Rush. So you had to take a capture point to a control point instead of, um, you know, taking the intel from one place to another. So it's quite an interesting concept, um, but I'm kind of glad it's not in TF2 because it wasn't my favourite in Team Fortress Classic, let's be real. And then Hunted 2. Again, another remake of an old map from Team Fortress Classic, which in itself has a basis in Half-Life. I'm a big fan of how this map looks, and while I'm not sure it would work well in current TF2, it does look very fun. It would have been a map for the VIP game mode, which we never saw, but this would basically entail where players would have to guide another player who's the VIP from one point to another, the VIP doesn't have any weapons, and you just have to make sure they stay alive. Yeah, I'm, I'm also glad that mode didn't make it into TF2 personally. And then move on to Koth Badwater. Now this is a very interesting one. It takes the opening stage of Badwater and mirrors that on the red and blue sides. The original Badwater tunnel runs underneath what would have been the capture point, and you know what? It's actually quite a nice map. I'm a fan of it. I would not complain if this was an actual map in TF2. It is a bit goofy, I will admit. It does look a bit goofy, but I think it was just polished up a bit. Could have been a banger map. And then we move on to one of my personal favourites here, and that is Control Point Medieval Mirror. Another medieval map. Let's fucking go! I've been dying for a crumb of new medieval content, and it's all I've wished for, for an update. This sort of gives me that. It's basically the group keep, but mirrored on the other side, sort of like 2-4. It functions like a standard the group keep uh, match, where each team would have to cap the opposing team's capture points before going to the keep, instead of the classic attack defend we know and love. It's sort of like 6 CP, I guess you could say. Both teams are free capture points. They need to capture both the outside capture points before they go into the keep, just like in normal medieval mode. It's just there's two castles. But yeah, very interesting to see. And I'm I, I'm sad we didn't get it, to be honest. Now, Zep Test. This is a very cool map based on a Zeppelin. I'm a big fan of those myself. It was a very early test of that idea, and as you can see, didn't really get much further than that. The aim was for Blue Team to crash the Zeppelin, and that would get them the win. Um, personally, I think it's a very cool idea that would have been very interesting to see if it got fleshed out. Unfortunately, it didn't get past the design stage. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe they just couldn't get it to work how they wanted, but I would have personally liked to see this in TF2. This is this is what this is why this leak is so good because it shows you what could have been, um, and it shows you that Valve had many many ideas that just never made it into TF2. So yeah, it's very interesting actually. I'm surprised this stuff all leaked to be honest. Um, but we're just going to cover a few of the other maps that were revealed in the leak. This isn't all the maps. I will say there are some that I've not included on here. And there are some that might come out after this video goes live anyway. So Arena Train Yard 2. We don't have Train Yard 1, but this is a small building set in a desert. It looks alright. And then Arena Train Yard 3, a much larger map. It looks to be some sort of train station or a depot set in the desert. Quite nice. Um, Bounty Test. Think TF2, but you could buy MVM power-ups. A concept I'm a very big fan of, and this map was a test map for that game mode. Clearly didn't get very far in testing because nothing like that exists in current TF2. Bot Battle, a test map with a control point. Looks like it might have been to see how bots behave. Uh, CP Nightfall. A basic block out of a 5 CP map that, as the name implies, would have taken place at night. CP Walker Fort Plus. Um, this map could have inspired the group keep. It was a 6 CP map with two symmetrical forts. Uh, Koth Mountain. A huge, snowy Koth map. There isn't really much info on it, but it looks like it was Badwater inspired. It's a very interesting map if you get to play on it. Uh, Koth Dam. This map looks like to be an early version of the third point on Powerhouse. 
was an experimental map on the actual powerhouse map to see if it could be shaped into a cough map too. Clearly, that experiment didn't go very far. It's very small as well, which is probably why it didn't get developed further. Payload Race Pinecrest. This map eventually became Thunder Mountain. It's a huge payload race map. And it's, it's honestly crazy and something I'd love to see polished up. Uh, technically, we did see it get polished up in Thunder Mountain, but I think it looks very cool as it does here. Rock 3, another sequel map to Team Fortress Classic. It's a strange version of the CTF we know. It involved stealing a key to unlock some sort of cell. It's a very interesting take on the CTF game mode, I will say that. Um, RS Hightower, this is the Hightower we know and love, but different. A completely different game mode that eventually became a special delivery. It involved taking a flag to a capture point, which would then fuel a rocket. After either team had fueled their rocket three times, it would activate a deathmatch mode to see if you could stop the rocket being launched or you'd launch the rocket. Very fun, I'd actually like to see that in game. That does sound fun. Uh, TF2 Chess, uh, I, I have no idea what this is really, but it looks like 2 Fort Chess. I'm, I'm not sure what this was used for. And finally, Payload Badlands. Badlands, but Payload. What more is there to say? And the final two maps we're going to look at are two completely finished maps that could have realistically been officially released in TF2. So we've got CTF Shoots. Now this is a more fleshed out tutorial map made for Soldier. It was created to show players the capabilities of Soldier and to get them used to its mechanics. So that's shooting a rocket, you know, rocket jumping, those sort of things. Um, very interesting to play. And then CP Point Breaker. Very similar to Shoots. It was another tutorial map to give players an idea of how to play TF2 against scripted bots. Now I couldn't get a training version of this to work, so I just wandered around an empty map. It had bot behaviours that would sort of act as if they were actual players in TF2, giving new players, you know, a glimpse into what it would be like to play against players before they actually, you know, jumped into TF2. Now these are both proposed tutorial maps. And when you compare that to the tutorial we actually got, it's quite saddening. My eyes are bleached! Why Valve? These would have been so much better to introduce new players to the game. But maps are not the only thing that leaked, no not at all. There were like 45 unreleased man vs machine levels. 45? You may know, I've been gagging for an MVM update for the longest time. So seeing these unreleased levels just sitting there is quite sad. Now I don't imagine that each of these levels are fully fleshed out and finished. I honestly doubt it. They could have drip fed them to us as sort of like new campaigns as they gradually finished and polished the maps. But unfortunately it did not happen and MVM did not get any more um, tours than the ones we already have. It's a shame really, because we could do, really do some more variety in the MVM uh, maps. Which is why community events are so good, because they give us that variety, but it'd be nice to see some official Valve maps. But hey, you know, it is what it is. They didn't feel like doing it. We also saw some very interesting icons of items which were never released or turned into other items. Um, so we've got a pyro mop hat. Some Victorian boots which for the demo man, a flat cap for the scout, um, some early book turner all stars, they look too blank and therefore the scout as well, a gift wrapped hat that looks like it could have been an early gifting man, and what looks like an early real case for taunts. And we also see this quest icon, which could be a predecessor to the contractor or a different campaign. Um, team colored guns like the pistol and scatter gun, these look very clean, I'm a big fan. Um, Manco trading cards, a natural trading card. Um, it looks to be related to MVM in some form, like the um, the upgrades you can get for the characters. It looks like it could be related to them, so it could be related to the bounty game mode. We're not sure. TF2 training cards would go kind of hard, I can't lie. A unique kills strange pot that would track the unique players killed. I personally would have loved this. It'd be such a cool strange pot to have. I imagine it'd be very expensive as well, though. We found some unreleased engineer weapons as well. A blunderbuss and a revolver. The NG would have had a revolver. Finally, he needs what he deserves one, and a blunderbuss would have been cool anyway. And also, a mallet. Can't forget the boy eye. There are so many other icons in here as well, so I'm just going to fire through them more quickly. An old unusual icon, some early Halloween icons, the original canteen icon, gift o spells or something similar, old class slot tokens, original bacon grease sprite, which I think goes hard, bagged bread, where was the bagged bread? Release the bagged bread valve, robo bread, balloons, nice winter crate keys, space calendars, closed chemistry set, the different version of the overdose, you know, and a set of keys. There's so many just unused things within TF2, it's crazy. I think the main meat and potatoes of the leak are these models that were leaked. There are so many, so it's going to be sort of quick fire, but you know, I'll talk about a couple of them. So, an MVM enemy blimp, the witch from the Spellbook magazine, she actually has an official model, a very early Saxton hail, this cursed spy texture, a barricade, which would have been an NG building um, from the engineer update, sort of like Fortnite, you know what I'm saying, um, this spiky bone saw uber saw combo, uh, green and yellow MVM bots, green and yellow, are you kidding me? They were actually going to be official colours in TF2, but just never worked out for some reason. This three-legged walker thing. This is a very interesting 
model uh, that really sticks out in the leak to me. It interestingly appears to be some sort of boss. Not sure if it's for MVM or a different robot based mode, but very cool nonetheless. That thing again is a payload as well. It's a very cool model. Level 4 sentry gun. This thing goes brazy. Man, if we had this in TF2, it'd be insane. I think this was for a similar game mode to this three-legged walker, I imagine. Not sure, though. This pull thing for the sentry could easily be a placeholder, though. Um, different metal models, you know, like your scraps and your refined and stuff. The strange counter model, a coffee machine. This Maxim-looking gun that is apparently a sentry. The repair node finely textured. I haven't seen it textured before. Asteroid robot, basically finished. The Celtic crown, which is a very cool crown cosmetic that I wish we actually received. A spaceship very cool this amazing upgrade station a space themed health station some key models an acorn this cool thing i don't know what it is uh, a crane the russian chastity belt a bunch of boxes some knights health to wealth machine and an official femme soldier model so yeah that is a quick run through of some of my favourite models that leaked. It's not a comprehensive list by any means, but these are just some of the ones that stuck out to me. There are also lots of taunts that we never ended up seeing. Some of these animations look to be ones that could have been used to show off items, which I think would have been very cool. And also, surprisingly, a lot of high five fail taunts. But most importantly, the coconut. If you know, you know. There is just so much more unique content in here that I wouldn't have even touched on, but these were my favourite and the things that I found the most interesting um, of the stuff I could find, of course. It's not the complete TF2 content leak, because so much content was leaked, it would take 10 years to go through all of it. But this is what has been found so far, and I think it's pretty amazing. With the tools the community now has at its disposal, I have no doubt we'll see some of this cut content get resurrected in the future, and I think it'll be a huge boost for the community servers. We were recently given access to vScript and its capabilities with um, servers and map making, so I can imagine that will help no end in resurrecting this lost content. It also shows that Valve did experiment with green and yellow versions of the Mercs too, but ultimately nothing ever came of that, including the yellow and green robots. That is wild, and it's also wild you might have content that Valve were working on that will just never see the light of day, well at least officially. But it also likely means that there'll be no new Valve content coming to the game anytime soon. There was no trace of the heavy update anywhere in here, so while there is a tiny chance Valve were working on it, I think it's time to come to terms with the fact we may never see the heavy update. It has been so interesting to see all the content that has come to light, and I urge you to go out and have a look for yourselves. I want to shout out to Dude the Ninja, TF2 Cook Content, and Yuri Crash on Twitter, and also you underscore Luke dash HW on Reddit, who have compiled it. So many of the assets that I can just go through and have a look at. So thank you to you four. Your work was very, very much appreciated, and I would like you to go check those people out as well, because they have a lot of posts pertaining to this cut content um, and that's where I got most of the pictures and footage for this video so I want to thank them thank you for doing the Lord's work it has not been unnoticed I know a lot of people have posted this content but I found that you were very helpful a very helpful like library I guess for me to compile into a nice little video it was a very interesting TF2 leak I did not expect it at all and it has some really interesting in development maps that are just never gonna see the light of day and it just shows that Valve were working on TF2 stuff quite a bit, but they just either sacked the idea off or just never developed it further, which is good, which is a shame, but as the game gets older, it does lose that developer support, and I think that's where TF2 is going, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure if this repo leak will have anything to do with that. It just shows that there hasn't been much, if any, Valve-developed content being made for TF2 in quite a while, so it is a shame. But I think it confirms what many of us were already thinking, that Valve just keep this going with community content. And what, that's fine. That's, that's okay. I would like to see a big Valve update at some point, And I think this leak just confirms we might not be seeing that at all. Maybe for a very long time. I know they don't want to say TF2 is officially dead. Or development has officially stopped. But that's kind of what it feels like at the moment. With that being said, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If there is anything I didn't cover in this video that you're a big fan of please comment down below i'd love to see what everyone's what everyone was looking at and what they found interesting and yeah i just see you guys in the next video peace out hey oh uh, uh i've been up for like two hours two hours yo bitch can food took a few showers few showers i don't buy my just money dance yeah that wristwatch costs a hundred grand